So if you're starting a drop servicing business in 2020, one of the most important things that you're gonna have to do is pick the right niche or the right service to deliver. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the top seven best niches to get into if you're starting a drop servicing business in 2020. Hey, what's up? It's Sean Anthony. And if you want to learn how to level up your business, your skills and your income, make sure you go down below right now, hit that subscribe button. And I'm going to be posting videos just like this every Tuesday and Thursday every week. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the top seven best niches, in my opinion, for 2020 and beyond, if you're starting a drop servicing business. Now, all of these services, they are easy to find fulfillment providers for so that you're not doing all the work yourself. They are high ROI. They get a high return on investment for clients because of the way that these services are structured. And they also have three keys in common, right? And these, these three keys, it doesn't matter what service or what niche that you pick to deliver, you wanna make sure that they have these three keys. Number one is it's directly tied to the growth or the revenue or money-making ability of the client or of the, the business owner, right? Now, why do we want this? Well, if you, you if you have a service that can help a business owner make more money or grow their business, that's what every business owner wants. So if you have a service that can help them do that, then it's a no brainer for them, right? Number two is recurring revenue. So if you have a service that, that clients pay you over and over and over for because they need that service over and over and over, then you are, your life's gonna be so much easier because you don't have to get new clients every single month, right? We have clients that have been with us for nearly two years now and who are paying us four figures per month for the same service because they need it over and over and over again. So you wanna make sure that you pick a service that has a recurring revenue opportunity. Number three is productizable. Now I know that's a mouthful, but what does that mean? It basically means that you have a service where every client that you onboard gets the same core service, right? You don't wanna be offering 20 different services or all this custom work where, we'll, where client A comes on, get something completely different than client B and client C, right? So you wanna have a productized service where every client that you bring on gets basically the same core service in the same system that you offered to all your other clients, okay? So those are the three things, and we're gonna jump in right now to the seven best niches, these best services to deliver if you're starting a drop servicing business in 2020. So let's hop right in. Alrighty, so we're in my my Google Doc, my computer here, and I'm gonna walk you through the seven best drop servicing niches for 2020 if you're just getting started in this business, right? Now, if you need help with ideas, if you don't wanna pick anything on this list and you want more ideas, go to clutch.co. This is a, it's kind of like a marketplace for different types of agencies and different types of services, digital services, right? So if you go to clutch.co, you can see here on the right hand side, you can you can click down the services and solutions. You can see different categories of services. You can click into these and you can you can do some research, right? If you want to see what types of services and how much people are charging, look at this, hundred thousand dollars. I'm not saying you're going to charge that, but you can you can do competitor research and you can look at what people are paying for and buying and what they're charging for it, right? So this is a great place to do to get ideas, do some research on competitors, and see how to position your drop servicing business, your drop servicing agency when you're getting started. Okay, so that's Clutch.co. Now let's jump back into here and let's get right into it. Now, all these niches, they're not in any particular order. These are just seven pretty solid niches that fit all these three keys here that I would recommend or I would get into if I was starting from scratch. Okay, so let's jump into it right now. Number one is Facebook advertising. So purchasing ads on Facebook to generate leads, customers, and brand awareness. Now, if you're here watching this video, you probably know what Facebook advertising is, right? You're targeting on things on, like interest and demographics and job titles and income level, you're targeting on things like that to generate leads, customers, and brand awareness for business owners, right? Now, btoplocal.com, I'm gonna show you examples of each of these. btoplocal.com, I, I know the founder of this, Nick Robbins, he's a, he's a friend of mine, and they focus, the reason I like their Facebook advertising agency is because they focus on a specific vertical or industry. So you can see here, they focus on pain management and stem cell therapy, doctors and clinics, right? So what that does is it strengthens your message. It makes it easier to get clients because you're focused on that specific vertical and that industry, right? And they also developed a system, a predictable system specifically for pain doctors, right? Facebook advertising system for pain doctors. 
This is gonna help you get clients a lot easier when you're tailored specifically to a certain vertical or industry because you're gonna be able to speak their language and you're gonna have a system tailored to them. Okay, so that's why I like VTOP Loco. They do multi-millions in revenue every single year with just one service, a Facebook advertising service and a system. And I highly recommend if you're going to create any one of these services, actually, you focus on a vertical or industry to make your life a lot easier and more profitable, okay? So that's number one, Facebook advertising. Number two, Google PPC, Google pay-per-click. This is a little different than Facebook. You're not targeting based on interest levels. You're targeting more by bidding on keywords. So instead of targeting a certain interest, you're targeting on things like stem cell therapy, Seattle, stem cell therapy, Florida. When people type these, these words into the, to, to the Google search engine, they're gonna come onto your client's websites, right? So this is bidding on keywords in Google to generate leads, customers, and brand awareness. Now, this is a, a website that I found, a service that I found called kudu.io, and they do Google PPC, and they have productized offerings, packages for different levels or different ad spend, right? So I can go here. Uh, let me go back to their homepage real quick. This is what a Google PPC ad, if you don't know what that is, that's what this is. If you type in roofers or roofers in Seattle or something like that, it shows up right here, an ad like that. So that's, a, that's what you'd be offering as a service is to help business owners get more leads and customers by setting up these little ads here, right? If you go to pricing, you can see their different packages. They have three different packages for different ad spends, right? Up to 5,000, up to 10,000. So you can offer this as a service for a specific vertical or industry and offer different packages here that are productized by limiting the ad spend budget here, right? So there's so many different ways you can package this up, this stuff up, and I'm gonna create more videos on that, on productizing things. But this is just a video to give you an idea of the seven best niches and services to offer, right? So this is Google PPC here. Number three is LinkedIn marketing and LinkedIn lead generation. So this is what my agency growth response is based on, which is connecting and using direct outreach and content to generate leads, clients, and brand awareness. Now, when we first started, we modeled after this company here, leadcookie.com. And our service is pretty similar to this. We, you can see their process right here. We optimize our clients' profiles. We send outbound connection requests. We send a drip messaging sequence to anyone who accepts that. And our goal is to help our clients generate more leads and more sales appointments and more phone calls with whoever their target audience is, whoever their ideal client is, okay? So we help them do that through LinkedIn, connecting and sending messages and growing their network and, and posting content, okay? So you can see here, you can do some research, what they offer, their pricing. Let's see, so $1,000 or 950 a month, and here's the deliverables. Uh, we have a very similar service to this. We have two different packages as well. And you can see what's being offered here. Okay, so this is LinkedIn marketing, LinkedIn lead generation. Number four, SEO, search engine optimization. Pretty much everyone knows what SEO is, right? Uh, but it's optimized, if you don't know what this is, it's optimizing a person's website and their keywords or their social media profiles to drive organic traffic, leads, and customers to their business, right? Now again, you're gonna see the key for a lot of these things is focusing on a vertical. So you can see rankings.io here. They have an SEO service, an SEO agency. They focus specifically on personal injury law firms, right? So they're not just saying I offer SEO to every single industry out there. They focus specifically on personal injury law firms and I think they do around 5 million a year in revenue because they're so focused on a specific, specific vertical and industry. So that's the power of really focusing in on a vertical is your message is stronger, you'll make more money, you're more profitable because you're focused on creating your entire business around a certain industry and speaking directly to them and helping them, right? And creating a system around that, okay? So this is rankings.io. Again, they do SEO for law firms in the personal injury space and they do multi-millions a year in revenue because of that. Number five, social media management. Creating, scheduling, analyzing, and managing content across multiple and various social media platforms to drive brand awareness, traffic leads, and customers. This is socialvantage.com, and you can see the different packages that they offer here. The only difference, or the only change I guess I would do for, him, for them, and I don't know what their revenue levels are or whatever, is you see how they're, they're pretty generic, right? It's the seamless social media hire for small businesses and teams. I might say maybe social media management for restaurants, social media management for software companies, social media management for, I don't know, home-based home, home businesses or home contractors or something like that, right? So you wanna tailor it to a vertical and your, your message is gonna be so much stronger and you're gonna have better case studies because it's gonna be all from a specific industry. 
But you can see here, they're different packages, they're different deliverables. They're posting to platforms like Facebook and Twitter and, and curating content and creating some content and growing the different social media profiles by posting content on them consistently, okay? So this is a highly valuable, highly profitable service because you can outsource it for pretty cheap, but it's very valuable to a lot of small business owners because they want help managing their social media. They don't know how to create content. They don't know how to post content. They don't know how, how and when to do it, right? So if you can help them with this, you're gonna help them get more leads and brand awareness for their business, and they're happy to pay you for this, okay? So that's social media management. Number six, Instagram advertising, Instagram marketing. So this is using paid advertising or organic growth strategies to grow someone's Instagram presence in their profile to generate more brand awareness, traffic, leads, and customers. Okay, so this is an example here, amfluence.com. Um, you can see their different packages here. $129 all the way up to $300 a month. They help you get more organic followers. They help you to engage with your audience, right? It's a, it's a done for you type of service where they help you to grow your Instagram and grow your business on the platform, okay? So that's Instagram marketing, uh, Instagram growth, I guess. Instagram advertising is, is very similar to Facebook advertising. You're just posting, you're, you're purchasing ads based on things like interests on Instagram to generate more leads and customers and you're paying for that as a service, right? So that's the difference between Instagram advertising and Instagram marketing. Uh, if I kind of like the organic types of things to start with because it's more profitable and I can still get them an amazing result, right? So it's up to you what you wanna pick. It's easy to find white label providers to do either of these things here, okay? Lastly, content creation and content marketing. In the last few years, like creating content and content marketing has blown up because it's it's proven hugely valuable. It takes some time to get traction with it, but it's so important that you have a content strategy in place for, for basically for any business and any personal brand. It's so important to have a content strategy in place. So cr this content creation and content marketing is creating and marketing content to attract and convert leads and customers and brand awareness for businesses. And this is an example here, audienceops.com. They do done for you uh, email list content and also lead magnet and blog article content, right? So their message, better content, better customers. They grow your audience, your email list and customer base with done for you content, right? So there's an amazingly profitable and also amazingly valuable service for any business, any personal brand, any individual who's trying, who has a business and wants to make more money online, content is such a key part of that, okay? So you can see there are different packages here, standard lights and light plus, and you can see what they offer here. Lead magnets, research and planning, draft, drafting their articles, new articles every two weeks, they edit it, they get your, your images for it, content upgrades, email newsletters, 10 social posts. So they handle a lot of your content, they do a lot of the heavy lifting for you, through an all-in-one service here, okay? You, again, you can outsource this. A lot of you pr are probably looking at this like, I have no idea how to outsource this. Well, there's a lot of white label providers that will do this as a service for you and you just collect the difference from whatever you charge the client for, okay? So that's, that's the goal of drop servicing. Again, is to find services that you can outsource so that you don't have to spend all of your time and energy doing and learning how to do the service yourself. You, all you have to do is start the business up, you get a client, you outsource the work to people who are specialists and highly skilled in delivering any of these niches or these services, and you just focus on managing the client, getting more clients, and growing the business, right? So. I hope this was helpful. Again, I just went over the seven different niches. Let me go over them one, one more time here. Number one, Facebook advertising. Number two, Google PPC, Google pay per click. Number three, LinkedIn marketing or LinkedIn lead generation. Number four is SEO. Number five is social media management. Number six is Instagram advertising or marketing or growth services. And number seven, content creation and content marketing. These are the seven best niches, in my opinion, for 2020 and beyond if you wanna start a drop servicing business from scratch and you wanna have the best possible chance at success in getting clients easily and growing your profits and growing your business, okay? So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Remember these seven niches, go back and watch it again if you need to. Uh, make sure that you're abiding by these three keys here if you're not gonna pick any one of these services. And if you need inspiration and ideas and help, go to clutch.co to do some research on ideas and other digital services being offered by other agencies in the niches that you wanna get into, okay? So again, I hope this was helpful. If you guys like this, make sure you like down below and hit that subscribe button so you see more videos just like this. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'm gonna answer every single comment. And if you have a question about anything in this video or what you wanna see next, comment below and let me know. 
But anyway, I hope this is helpful for you guys, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Take care.